Audio Station helps set your music free. Beyond simply listening to music, Audio Station helps access online radio streams, play music from DLNA sources, and share songs or playlists with a simple link. In this video, we'll go over how to configure Audio Station, file organization tips that will make the most of Audio Station's features, and general usage of Audio Station. First, make sure that the Audio Station package is installed. The installation of Audio Station will cause a shared folder called Music to appear automatically. You can have your music, podcasts, or other audio files in other shared folders, but you'll need to make sure that folders other than the Music folder are being scanned with the Media Library function in the DSM's control panel. File organization and correct tagging go a long way toward getting the most out of Audio Station. The recommended folder layout is to create a folder for a particular recording artist, then a folder for each album from that artist, then have tracks for that album. This helps with correctly displaying album art, fixing any potential tagging errors, and navigating your collection outside of Audio Station. To make the experience in Audio Station more visually appealing, it is recommended that you put album art with your collection as well. Audio Station requires album art to be in JPEG format and should be placed in the album folder with the music tracks for that album. More information regarding album art file names can be found in the DSM help. Now let's take a look at Audio Station itself. Audio Station can be found in the main menu. As you can see in the library view, Audio Station provides several ways to explore your collection. Using the tags in your audio files, you can browse by album, artist, composer, or genre. Let's take a look at genre as an example and see how mistakes can be fixed. The first genre listed is clearly an error. Let's take a look at how to fix this. First, enter the genre. Then enter the album. Now right-click the track, or select the track and enter the action menu, then select Song Information. Looking at the summary and file path, there are a few things wrong with the track data. The artist and track information are wrong in addition to the genre. Switching to the General tab allows the track to be edited. I'll go ahead and fix the information based on the file path as well as what I know regarding the genre. Using this editor, I can also add lyrics for the track. A button for searching lyrics websites is included, providing that you've installed lyrics plugins in Audio Station settings. Switching back to the genre list, things are looking better. Playing the track, the album art is displayed along with the track name, album, artist, and track duration information. To the right of the shuffle button is a button to switch view and display the lyrics. Switching to the playlist view, you can see the playlists that have already been created, as well as make new ones. In this case, many of these playlists are albums, but you can also make custom playlists for your favorite tracks under the Create menu. You'll be asked to name your playlist, then whether you want the playlist only available in your account, or as a playlist anyone with access to Audio Station can update. After your playlist file is made, just go to your library, right-click a track, and choose Save to Group Playlist, and choose your new playlist from the list. Now I've made a new playlist for my upcoming party. I can easily share with friends to see if there's anything they'd like to add. With Quick Connect configured, I just need to right-click my playlist, or go to the Action menu and choose Share with the Public. Going to the link brings up a trimmed down version of Audio Station containing only the playlist selected. You can also create links to individual tracks this way. Going back to Audio Station, the next menu item is Internet Radio. Using this feature, you can start streaming without having your own music collection. Audio Station comes with a list of predefined shoutcast stations arranged by genre. But if you have a shoutcast station that you like, you can also add it via the Create button. The Media Server option in the DSM allows you to stream music stored on DLNA servers that share a network with your NAS. Since DLNA servers are usually only accessible via a local network, this makes it easy to access other music servers on the go, right from a web browser. Our last stop is the playing queue. 
Songs that have been added to the queue from the library or from a playlist will be shown here. Playback isn't limited only to the device that you're accessing AudioStation from. AudioStation can also send music streams to other devices. If you have a playback device on the network or a compatible USB sound device connected to your NAS, you can choose those as the playback location instead, using the drop-down menu shown here. AudioStation will have a separate playing queue for each device, so you can listen to an audiobook on your computer while music plays in another room, all from one Synology NAS. I hope you get a lot of enjoyment listening to all of your audio files with AudioStation. To learn more about using AudioStation with mobile devices, please see our other video titled, Enjoy Your Music on Your Mobile Devices. Thank you for watching.